my beloved friends i wish you a happy new year in the name of lord jesus christ we have entered into the first day of a new year are you not happy now one side there is happiness but another side you have a fear in mind what would have jesus kept for me this year how he is going to guide you all through this year isn't it when you think about the paths you have passed through last year there were a lot of goodness and blessings at the same time a lot of troubles and tribulations that is how god will lead us throughout you would have entered into this year with a question in your mind how god is going to lead you throughout this year am i right when i give you the blessings which god has preserved in the form of his promises you should read that and pray to god only then you can receive his blessings every year i have a habit I pray for all those who are associated with Jesus Redeems ministry and partners as well as those who pray for us to know what blessings God has preserved for each and every one of you and I receive the promises from God and let all of you know about it this is my habit I have been doing this for many years when people come and tell me about the blessings they receive as per God's given word I feel very happy God gives his promises to you also. Zechariah chapter 9 verse 12. Even now I announce that I will restore twice as much to you. He looks at you and says, "My son, this year I will restore twice as much to you. My daughter, this year I will restore twice as much to you." This is the word God gives you now. The nature of our God is to bless everyone. That too, he is happy to give you twofold blessings. This is the special nature of our God. If you go through 1 Kings chapter 3 and verse 5. Solomon became the king of Israel when he was very young. God gave him a vision. God asked Solomon, "Tell me what is your ambition in life? What do you want? You can tell me your ambition." Today God is asking you, my son, my daughter, what do you want in 2020? Tell me what is your ambition? God is asking you you should tell your ambition and God will fulfill that at that time Solomon thought what shall i ask God because he is capable of giving anything i want another country my frontiers should be expanded i should win a king and add that to my kingdom if he had asked God would have given him because he is a mighty god who gives anything God asked him whatever is your ambition ask me then Solomon thought What shall I ask him now at this young age God has uplifted me to become king of a nation these are God's people God please give me the wisdom for proper justice and give me the wisdom to rule this nation honestly only then I can do justice to these people as you wish see how cleverly he thought and prayed for it to God God please give me a lot of wisdom to rule this nation as well as your people honestly That is what he prayed. He has asked only one thing. Give me wisdom, Lord. Do you know what God did? Uh, in 1 King chapter 3 verse 12 and 13, the Lord said, "Solomon, I am pleased with what you asked for. Therefore, I will give you a wise and discerning heart, and moreover, I will give you both wealth and honor to you." God gave him double measure blessings. If you ask for one, our God will give you two. But whatever you ask it must be pleasing to god what are you going to ask don't ask any worldly things i want a job need money my debts should be cleared don't ask for any such things ask greater things to him i need blessings of holy spirit i must talk to you i must walk with you and i must pray even more i must pray for spiritual life i must proclaim you to others many people must be saved through me through me your glory must be revealed I must live for Jesus and I must show your mighty power to others. Give me the grace for that. Ask him like this. Ask him for higher things. Then all prosperity, job and money which you didn't ask for will follow you. And God will say, "I am giving double measure goodness to you. Do you believe this? Will you pray with me in this year 2020? God will give twofold goodness and blessings to me. Let us now pray with this faith. Father, these are your children, Father. They are your son and your daughter. 
God look at this elderly father and mother and look at all of them and bless them bless these small children in this year as you promised give them double measure blessing in their life give wisdom in double measure to all the students give them good health in double measure develop those who does business in double measure give two fold improvement in their jobs above all these give them double spiritual power and spiritual blessings give them spiritual talents and give them the power of the holy spirit to live along with you to hear your voice to wait upon you in your presence to enter into your blessings to teach the gospel to bring a lot of souls to your kingdom to make the heaven rejoice and bless them to expose your mighty power to everyone and leave them to you lord i ask you in the name of jesus christ o father amen amen